this is the one that all of our crafters are going to absolutely love. It's when I show you these samples. All of these are made using what's in the kit. Now, Cara, uh, this is this is a self-portrait. Can you see? She's on the front of the packaging. Uh, she's done a self-portrait. I, I love, 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 love this design, okay? And can you see everything coloured on here? you can do with what's in this kit. Now, let me show you some of the designs. You can do beautiful skin tone coloring with this because we've got one of our skin colors and some depth and shade in there. You can be doing funky hair. You've got these beautiful flowers in here. These images are all in the kit, by the way, to get you started. This one I love. It's so trendy. It's just absolutely crying out for you to have a bit of a play with all of the coloring on here. Totally different shades in there, all done with pens that we've got in this kit, okay? Brilliant starting point here. Just shows you exactly where you can be taking all of this, right? Now, I'll just move you through these and I want to show you how this is all going to work and what is in the kit, okay? So in this kit, you've got five of our classic markers, which means you've got a fine tip and a brush tip, um, not a brush tip, a chisel tip on the other end. You then also have a one millimeter fine liner so that you can do all of your own drawing and then be able to add your own color. Now in the set, you also get some of her artwork ready for you to start and color in, but then also some blank sheets for you to draw all of your own. Now, if I'm going to start, let's have a look. I think I'm going to start with this one. Yep. So I absolutely love this design, okay? Now, all of these, what you see is, there's not two shades of the same colour, so you're going to have to be creative in how you get depth and shade. That is what you're going to learn in the instruction booklet. So can you see, Cara, you get introduced to Cara, make sure you go and follow her on Instagram to follow a lot of her hints and tips and see a lot of her other artwork that you can download and then do colouring with. Introduction to all of the tools... And then she starts and teaches you how to get some really attractive colours by blending colour to colour, right? So these examples were all made by touching two tips of the markers together, which I'm going to show you as part of the demonstration. It also shows you how you can warm up and cool down each of these using greys or darker colours to add tone and shade. So I'll show you that as well. And then she also shows you by mixing the colours together what shades you can get. So I've been sitting doing a little bit of uh, colouring on here. Adding the colours together shows you what new colour that you're going to get. So I've sitting had a bit of practice here to get a bit of a feel for this. So you can see there, here's all of your mixing colours. This is, it, you can adjust the intensity of the colours by adding a little bit of grey. That's why we include the grey in the kit. Uh, or you can combine the colours to make your own darker shade. So let's just have a look on here, okay? If I want to start off and do a little bit of colouring, let's colour a little bit. Should we colour a little bit of a little bit of a hair going round here, right? So if I colour all, all of this, you can see it's a very, very bright pink to start with, with all of this shading and colouring, right? So if I just take this down here, and this is a lovely um, kit in terms of the, the markers have all got this really nice kind of thin tip to them, right? Now, just going to go around these. I'm not going to colour too much of this in, but I'm going to do enough just to show you this technique of uh, touching the two nibs together, right? So there's our starting point, right? We want to add a bit of shade down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my blue. And then what happens is if I touch these two tips together, right? The blue is going to transfer onto the pink, right? So when we shade this down here, can you see? We've got a little bit of pink coming through and it shades into the blue. So that when we go over that with the various shades, and you see it's all blended through. So you don't see, just do that again, touch the two of them together, all right? And so you see, you can see a little bit of colour going under here. So there's the blue going through. And then as we blend this through, you can see that blends right through. So you can see the dark goes to the light. And you even see, and you see a little bit of blue on here, but it's still got a little bit of that pink in. So I can still bleach and blend it through. So this is the technique of touching the two nibs together and essentially transferring colour between the two. So as soon as you wait a little bit, need to give it a little bit longer, get some of that ink transferring across. What I've done is I've got the alcohol has bleached out the colour here. So again, this is where we, we've got light colour and we're going to take it into the deep, deeper shade that we did down here. Or we can blend out 
with the other pen where we had on the edge there right so that's how you get the that the two tone shading on there as well right the other way to do it just have a look i can show you so how i like to do it if we want to try coloring for example a little bit of skin here right so you can add in a little bit of the gray so if i just start off coloring down her skin here all right we've got got the skin tone on right and then what i can do is just add a little bit of the gray down here so this is how you're going to get the darker shade down there and then when we blend this down the gray is basically just going to make the side of her arm darker can you see that so she just looks a little bit darker down the side you might see it a little bit better i'll do some um, i'll do some legs down here joe and then you can see this all blending together so there's my the two legs on there and she's got a little bit of leg going on under here as well so we'll put both of these on all right and so then where it would be dark you're just going to take that gray so we're going to go down the side and around the top like you would do usually with a darker shade of pen but you can achieve the same look with the gray as long as you go back over it's just about having the right shades that work together so i know those grays are going to work together perfectly well gray is going to work to just give a little bit of tone there into that color can you see so now it looks like the light's bouncing off here and it's darker under there same a hair multicolored working in from the side and that's what you're going to do you're just going to follow that through you can see this one here it's where we've done that we've got the shading on the legs we've done the shading with the gray down here we've mixed the hair color from the purple into the pink and you can get that beautiful shading touching the two nibs together and actually if you want to learn a lot more about this make sure you go and follow Kara on Instagram because she's doing loads of tutorials teaching people how to do all of the techniques that you need what is in this kit to do so if you are a, you know an improving colorist and you wanting to start and learn about color theory mixing color adding tone with grays touching the nibs together creating new colors this is the kit that's going to get you off on that journey mm -hmm.